Hi everyone, Arlene here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. Well, today we're not gonna be doing any crafting. I'm not gonna be doing any touring around the house. And I'm not gonna be taking you into a store to look for something. Instead, I'm going to try to do what one lady has asked me to do. And that is to share how I dress as a plus size lady. As you can see, I'm not tiny. I stand about five foot eight and a half. I'm not gonna tell you what I weigh. <laughs> but I wear uh, 18, 20, 2X, sometimes a 3X. It just depends on what I'm buying. Uh, this shirt, for instance, is a 3X because it's kind of form fitting and it hugs me a little bit too much in the 2X. Regardless, I was trying to rack my brain and think about how I could let you guys kind of get a glimpse of my wardrobe. Not that I'm any fashionista, as I say, but I do like to try to look pretty. I get up every day, I do my hair, I do my makeup, and I dress in some sort of what I think to be somewhat fashionable way. <laughs> I very rarely just put sweats on and go through my day without doing something to myself. If, not, if for nobody else, just for me, just to make myself feel better. I always get my nails done. I always try really hard every day to do something. And I guess my mama kind of instilled that in me. She was like that. She was a beautiful lady. I'm beautiful, I'm not saying that. But she was a, a beautiful lady and always dressed to the nines and just gorgeous. Anyway, so I came up with this idea. The other day I wrote my Alaska Cruise Wardrobe blog because Chris and I are gonna be going on in another Alaska cruise. This will be our fifth and sixth. We're doing a back-to-back -back cruise with Princess Cruises. And I, as I said, I just wrote my blog. So I thought what I would do is do kind of a voiceover for you guys, and kind of read through my blog. Of course, I'm sure I'll embellish and add things and take things out. And I'll add more pictures and embellish in that way as well. The sun just came out really bright outside and I look like I'm in a spotlight now. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let me back up. Will that help? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, sorry, I'm always dealing with this lighting in here. Now, it's very light and bright in here, but I'm always dealing with it. So anyway, I thought that's what I would do, is to do a voiceover, and that way you guys will see what I'm taking on that cruise is stuff that I wear every day. And probably a lot of it is stuff that you've seen me in. You know, I like to embellish with scarves and so on. So that's what I'm going to do in this video and I am going to post this on my Country Craft Corner page as well as my Arlen's Travel page so that I can answer whatever questions anybody has. So again, I'm not saying I'm any kind of anybody special, that I'm any kind of fashionista. I'm not saying that I have any knowledge of how <laughs> to put together an outfit. I've not been educated in that way. I just try to find things that look nice and fit this old body of mine. So anyway, come along with me as I go into my voiceover phase and I'll kind of read through that blog and show you my wardrobe and show you a little bit of Alaska too. If none of you have ever tried cruise Alaska and if you ever get the opportunity, I say go for it. It's a beautiful place. Anyway, on and on we go into the voiceover part. Alrighty, here we go. I'm pretty much just going to read through my blog post and maybe embellish here and there, but here we go. This is what I had to say about my Alaska cruise wardrobe. I know, I know it's February and we won't be heading out for our Alaska cruise for several months yet. So y'all might ask, why in the world are you writing your Alaska cruise wardrobe blog now? Easy answer. Now is the time when you can find awesome sales on winterish clothing. I have been on the lookout for some things that I know I'll need. And as you'll see, I've come across some cute things that will be perfect for our trip. As I mentioned, every time I go to write, of course, I'm telling you now, but write a cruising wardrobe post, I am no fashionista, truly. But I really enjoy clothes, shoes, jewelry, and anything else that can help this old girly feel pretty. I am a tall 5'8 and a half 
plus size lady, so that presents me with some challenges at times. And I do think I've gotten pretty good at highlighting the good things and camouflaging the not so wonderful things about my figure, like the hips that go on for days and the menopausal belly. Hate that. Anywho, y'all didn't come here to hear me lament on my figure, full as it is. Let me start by telling you that Chris and I are planning on going on back-to-back -back Alaska cruises with Princess Cruise Lines. In years past, we've taken the Voyage of the Glacier southbound cruise, which starts in Whittier, which is very close to Anchorage, Alaska, and ends in Vancouver, BC. This time we are combining that same cruise with the northbound Voyage of the Glaciers, Vancouver to Whittier. In fact, we are starting with the northbound after spending a day in Victoria with my dear friend, Liz. These two cruises have basically the same itinerary with only a couple of differences. Both visit Glacier Bay, which is one of the main reasons we return to Alaska again and again. The feeling that I get when sailing through there, well, it is unsurpassed and almost soulful. Here are a couple of pictures of the two itineraries that we will be enjoying. Before I start showing you my wardrobe choices for this trip, I should tell you a little bit about the climate in Alaska in the spring, summer, and fall. Temperatures can vary greatly during the day and can soar up into the 60s and 70s, and higher I've heard but never experienced in the past four Alaskan trips that we've taken. The temps in the evenings can be chilly into the 40s and 50s, especially on the water. On this trip, we'll be doing several glacier viewings, Glacier Bay twice, College Fjord, Hubbard Glacier, and then we are also doing the 26 Glaciers excursion out of Whittier on our turnaround day. During those viewings, I know for a fact that it's going to be downright chilly, like 30s and 40s chilly. The chance for rain is also high, so all that said, layering is the key for me. I will take a rain type jacket and some water resistant shoes as well. Okay, let's get started. I plan to take one large 29 inch suitcase and one medium 24 inch suitcase and one backpack for my carry on bag. I will also pack an extra Vera Bradley Weekender bag. My pattern is Parisian Paisley and one of the suitcases said that I'll have it to use on the way home as a carry on. It will be used to place our last day on the ship clothing, last morning toiletries and other sundries that might be left over after packing to go home. You see, we have to set our suitcases out in the hallway on the evening before disembarkation. This weekender is a spiffy bag, folks. It holds a plethora of items and also has a sleeve on the back so you can slide it down over the suitcase's handle. Here is what I'll be using as my carry-on bag. It is a Vera Bradley Campus Backpack. My pattern is Midnight Paisley. I will use this to pack up my laptop, travel papers, wallet, a little bag of necessities, crossword puzzle book, my Kindle, etc, etc, etc. A couple more little tidbits of info before I show you my clothing, shoes, and jewelry choices. I use these wonderful packing aids. Our daughter Kristen introduced us to packing cubes and packing folders, and I've used them for two cruises now. Gracious, I cannot tell you. It has changed the way I pack and the amount of items that I can take. Of course, I always still need to be aware of the weight of the suitcase if flying, but even with that, I can fit so much more in and it is all organized and everything is easily found. I have another video on my Arlen's travel channel that is entitled Packing Folder Cubes and Suitcase that I will put a link in the description for and it shows you how I utilized the cubes and the folder when we went on our last cruise to Canada and New England some of the clothing choices that I've made and will be taking with me on this cruise. We will be gone for 15 days, but I'm only going to pack as if we were going on a seven-day adventure, as I will have access to a laundry room on board the lovely Coral Princess, and I will definitely wash at least once. I'm only going to be taking black, stretchy, comfy slacks. No jeans. I never wear jeans in my everyday life. They are just not my thing. No skirts. Well maybe one maxi, 
no other colored bottoms, and no dresses. My attempt at keeping my packing to a minimum. In the past, I've shared with you some links for the black slacks that I get from Dress Barn, but I just tried to go to one and poof, they do not have any in stock at the moment. Ugh, I'm so sorry. I'll be sure to let you all know if and when they get them back in. I'm so bummed about this. I did just find some lovely long sleeve t-shirt type tops on the 60% off rack in Dress Barn a couple weeks ago. I bought pretty much every color they were offering. Got five tops for $32. I had a coupon too for 25% off of my total purchase. What? I got lucky on that one, girls. One important thing to mention, I did have to go up a size in these, just in case you want to get any. I'll put a link in the description. But truly, if I were you and I wanted to order some of these tops, I'd do it pretty quick because they are selling out fast. I got home that day and I set up all of the tops with a different scarf for each one and then added more scarf choices that I have hanging on the doorknob in the picture. I'm all about those scarves, ladies. They can make an outfit look totally different and they pack up so nice and small. And I like to have options. It is obvious that I've been collecting them for years and years. I got many of them at the $10 sale on Prince's Ships and have received many as gifts from my family. Just found some very, really can only be used for layering or if you wear a cami under, lightweight turtleneck tops from Amazon. Again, I went up a size for these. I'll give you a link for those in the description as well. They look lovely under the capes and also could be used on glacier days to put under one of those other tops or possibly a sweatshirt that I will either take with me or buy while in one of the ports heading north. All right, let's talk jewelry. I truly do not take a ton of jewelry with me, mostly just some basic necklaces and earrings. I'll definitely take a couple of watches and several bracelets though. Here are some things that I might throw in. Now for shoes. I will take two pairs and wear one pair, all black, all comfy. I have just rediscovered these spiffy Mini Tonka women's deerskin gore front moccasin shoes again. I had a pair years and years ago and I wore them completely out. Feet. I will wear these around the ship and possibly on an excursion where I know my feet won't get wet and where I might not be doing a ton of walking. I purchased these in my true shoe size. These are the shoes I will travel in as well. I cannot tell y'all how comfortable and cozy these shoes are. I love them. Here's a really comfy pair of shoes that I actually discovered while on board the Star Princess when my feet were so swollen and I couldn't wear the shoes that I had taken with me. I paid way too much for these on board in one of their gift shops, but I was very grateful to have them. I purchased them in a pretty pink that time because I knew I had outfits that I was planning to wear on excursions in Hawaii that they would pair nicely with. But when I got home from the trip, I ordered up a pair in black. They are Skechers Performance Women's Go Walk 3 shoes. I'll put a link in the description. I did order up a half a size in these and they fit like a glove. And then last but not least, I will take a pair of waterproof shoes from L.L. Bean. These are coastal rain skimmers. Yeah, they are pretty pricey, but I've had a pair of these for literally a decade and they work like a charm. Now, one word of warning on these shoes. I do order mine in my regular shoe size, but they definitely need a little wearing in before your trip. They do loosen up pretty quickly though, and in my opinion, would be too big if ordered up a half a size. 
obviously I have chosen shoes that will go with my wardrobe, but I'm often asked if one should take hiking or snow boots, and I will tell them if they are going to be taking an excursion to a glacier or hiking through the forest, then yes, one might need to take some boots with them. For me, I will not be atop a glacier or, or hiking through the forest, so these three choices will work perfectly for me. I'll also be taking some spiffy compression socks, mostly to wear on the flights, but also to pair with a couple of my outfits. Okay, time for a chat about winter garb, as in jackets, hats, gloves, and winter scarves. Truthfully, I do not think it is necessary to take a heavy winter coat. Again, unless you're going to be atop a glacier, and even there, you can layer up and should be fine. I've also heard that the excursion companies will provide boots, but that said, it will, and I cannot stress that enough, will be chilly on the days that glaciers are viewed during the scenic cruising portions of the cruises. And let's face it, we are in a rainforest when in port, and there's a high probability of a few raindrops plopping down upon you. I have chosen to take one rain jacket with me, and I will definitely be purchasing a jacket in Alaska, either on board or in one of the ports because I want one with Alaska embroidered on it and they are pretty cheap purchase once in Alaska. If I need gloves, scarves and the like, I will purchase them at a spiffy sale that they'll have on board on Glacier Days. Here's the rain jacket that I'll be taking. I'll give you a link in the description. So there we go. I'll continue to tweak my wardrobe probably until the moment it is all packed up in that folder and those cubes. And admittedly, I might change out an outfit or two, but this is the look I'm going for. Outfits that are casual, but will carry me into the evening meals while I'm bored. Ones that I can dress up with a change in jewelry, scarves, etc. I am so excited to be going back to my favorite place on the planet, and as I watch my countdown click away, I try my best not to wish my life away like my mom always told me I shouldn't. But it is so hard not to be anxious and feel those butterflies zipping around in my belly when I think of the adventure that awaits. A little scripture for you guys. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Psalm 139. Until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.